Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is December 31st, 2023. Happy New Year! We made it! If you've been with us all two years, well, we finished two of our sections in, in this ESV Bible reading plan that we're using. Uh, not sure if we're going to use it next year. If we do, we're going to be in the Chronicles and Prophets section. Uh, problem with that is somewhere around November, it repeats Isaiah again. I'm not sure I want to repeat Isaiah again. But we'll see when we get there. But as of now, that's what we're going to use. So let's see. What's today's reading? Well, we're going to finish off Job today. We're going to read chapter 42, verse 7 to 17. God makes one last statement. Uh, this time he's going to address the three friends and call them out and say, Hey, you know what? <laughs> you know, you're going to speak for me. Don't speak wrong things. Uh, don't speak simplistic things. You don't know what you're talking about. Keep your mouth shut when you're talking about God. So where where is Job? He didn't really chastise Job. Yeah, you know, he he kind of gave Job credit for for thinking outside the box and trying to think outside of himself. But he did let Job know that you know what you can't think outside of yourself. That's the way you were made. You cannot comprehend God because God is so much higher, so much more powerful than you are. Three friends, he lets him have it. He tells him, you know what, you should have kept your mouth shut. In fact, here's what I'm going to do. If Job will go and sacrifice for you and pray for you, I'll forgive you, but we're going to leave that up to Job. And Job does forgive the friends, sacrifices for the friends, and God, in his sovereignty, rewards Job and gives him twice as much as what he lost. So Job is restored twofold. And that's where our story ends. So let's go ahead and we're going to read Job chapter 42, verse 7 to 17. And so it was, after the Lord had spoken these words to Job, that the Lord said to Eliphaz the Temanite, My wrath is aroused against you and your two friends, for you have not spoken to me what is right, as my servant Job has. Now, now therefore take for yourselves seven bulls and seven rams. Go to my servant Job and offer up for yourselves a burnt offering. My servant Job shall pray for you, for I will accept him, lest I deal with you according to your folly, because you have not spoken to me what is right, as my servant Job has. So Eliphaz the Temanite and Bildad the Shuite and Zophar the Naamathite went and did as the Lord commanded them, for the Lord had accepted Job. And the Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friends. Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Then all his brothers, all his sisters, and all those who had been his acquaintances before came to him and ate food with him in his house, and they cons consoled him and comforted him for all the adversity that the Lord had brought upon him. Each one gave him a piece of silver and each a ring of gold. Now the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning, for he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 female donkeys. He also had seven sons and three daughters, and he called the name of the first Jemima, and the name of the second Keziah, and the name of the third Karen Hapuk. And all the land were found no women, so beautiful as the daughters of Job, and their father gave them an inheritance among their brothers. After this, Job lived 140 years and saw his children and his grandchildren for four generations. So Job died old and full of days. May God bless you his word. May God bless you. Happy New Year. Bye.